uh, hi everyone so this is another example which we will talk uh, this is the lambda which we are writing and uh, we are using serverless framework obviously and using this lambda what we will do is we will send uh, the image url in the event body and you need to just download the image and upload that image to some s3 bucket right so you need a lambda which needs to have an access to s3 so if we just take a look on to the serverless.yml I will not be writing code, I will be just going through this code so I can explain you. So here is our serverless.yml file. So here we have the provider, runtime and all these things and you look at this. IAM role statement. So we are giving role to this lambda to do a put object means upload an object to this S3 bucket and the name of the S3 bucket is defined here because same bucket we are referencing in the function and in the resource okay so what we are doing here is uh, you see this is the provider custom and then function so this save function this is the handler handler dot save so this is just an independent lambda and this is the environment we haven't attached it to some api gateway because there is no event we can see this is just an independent lambda and the environment of this lambda is just a bucket name right now this lambda can be attached to uh, API gateway where you are actually sending some HTTP post request passing this uh, image URL okay image URL then you will get the image URL from the event object and then you will download that HTTP URL image and upload it to S3 it can be a scenario right so I mean lambda can be invoked in n different n different ways it can be a simple you send a message to SQS and then attach this lambda as a trigger to that SQS okay so in this handler you see the simple code this is our handler this is handler.save method and this is the known async code i mean we are not using async handler and doing all these things we are just using fetch and here we are downloading this image if everything is fine we are just converting that image to a response.buffer here we are getting buffer and then we are using s3.put object so S3 is like you can see the managed service and we can access it using AWS SDK same as like document client for the DynamoDB similarly we will get S3 from AWS SDK using this thing S3 equal to new AWS dot S3 okay we are, we are going to dip, run this code on Lambda Lambda already have an access to that bucket so you don't need to provide the access key and secret key here so this is simple code S3 dot put object bucket name key and body body is just a buffer of that file right and then it, it's going to return a promise this is an important thing I mean most of these SDK methods are callback based so if you want to convert them to the promise based what you can do is you can do a dot promise a simple node.js utility uh, this is the function you do a dot promise so now it is converted into a promise if everything is fine this callback will be triggered otherwise you can also have a dot catch where you return the error like here dot catch you will get error and then you can return error in that callback so here it will be error okay something like this so now we can have these different examples of uh, lambda talking to s3 sqs sns dynamodb or any other aws service right the whole concept of this tutorial or playlist was just to tell how we can use serverless framework to do all these things how we can assign a role to a lambda how we can do the configuration how we can create a cloud formation resources like uh, creating a dynamodb table in a particular region all these things can be done using this serverless.yml you can create the whole full stack application using this i mean we talked about the basic CRUD operations but you can do beyond that okay so i may add few more uh, hands-on coding coding uh, uh, lambdas but i think this is what i wanted to cover in this playlist okay uh, thanks everyone